the SunFast 3200. From Jeannot. Mention the name Jeannot and sleek looking cruising boats of all types come to mind. But Jeannot has been making high performance race boats for over 50 years. This is Paul Fenn, the president of Jeannot America. And Paul, we're aboard the SunFast 3200. You are, and this is a new boat for us. It's the latest addition to the SunFast range, and it's 32 feet of energized fun. It's really a boat that's been designed for shorthanded offshore sailing use. So what you have is a very narrow bow, and you can see we have a very wide transom. Whether sailing shorthanded or with the crew, the maneuvers are incredibly easy aboard the SunFast 3200. You've got your life raft storage here, your electronics are here, you have two uh, watertight hatches here, port and starboard. This gives access to all your steering controls. And this is actually a good opportunity to take a look at the boat's construction with the vacuum bag balsa cord hull here. Uh, you can see from the deck layout, one of the nice things about the boat is that the tow rail is molded directly into the deck, so you don't have any sharp edges to hurt people's legs when they're hiking out. The layout itself is incredibly clean, and you'll notice a great deal of Harkin gear. Harkin's Tim Ken is one of the biggest fans of the boat. Hi, I'm Tim Kent. I'm the U.S. sales manager for Harkin. This is catnip for a solo sailor. Twin rudders, wide spreader bases, all the gear laid out right where a solo sailor can reach it. If you start at the bow of the boat, this boat comes equipped with a carbo racing foil so that you can do head sail changes on it. As you come back, all around the base of the mast are ESP blocks, perfect for the static loads that halyards give. Harkin winch is here for uh, spinnaker or Genoa trimming, windward sheeting car. We've got completely adjustable Genoa leads. They're brought all the way back so that you can adjust the Genoa right from the helm. In the conditions that we were racing in a few weeks ago, we were blowing 20 to 40 knots. We had a full main. All we had was a large jib and a full spinnaker. The boat was still a really safe, stable platform. With twin rudders, even when the boat heeled over hard, when you would normally lose control, the boat just dug in and went fast. This is a great boat. I've had a lot of fun racing on it. We're gonna to try to race this boat in Chicago and Mackinac race this year. I can't wait to get on it by myself. Well, you know, Tucker, uh, one of the great things about this boat is unlike a lot of race boats, this boat has an interior. All the countertops and everything are a composite material, all designed to save weight and keep the boat as light as possible. You'll see as you go forward that one of the, the nice features about this boat that keeps you very safe at sea is you have a watertight bulkhead forward with a watertight hatch, so you have access to the very bow of the boat. Other than that, it keeps you very safe. You have a large head forward with a shower holding tank. You have a door for privacy. One of the nice things about the boat as we moved aft here that you don't find on race boats either is you have two tremendously large aft cabins. And you can see that we've given a great deal of thought, again, to the weight. So you have cabin doors made out of some umbrella material. You also have hanging lockers inside the cabins that also save weight, but provide plenty of storage. Well, Paul, I can see that Jeannot's many years of extensive racing experience have gone into this boat. You know, Tucker, it really has. This boat is fantastic if you're racing with your family, if you're racing offshore, inshore, short-handed sailing. The bottom line is that it's stable, it's safe, it's fast, and it's really fun.